Good morning. We are about to head to Rio Doso and look for a new um, campsite. We need to dump our tanks, so we may be paying, looking for a <laughs> change engine oil soon. Oh, yeah, I gotta do that too. It's just a day trip. We may do some hiking or geocaching or something too, but we just thought we would kind of drive around the area and see what's out there. So, thought I'd take you along. Let's go. Oops. So that's right outside my window. So we're leaving Ridosa and going to Capitan and looking at some sites there. We're going down this rural, I guess it's rural, out in the middle of nowhere highway and we come to we come to the cemetery and it says here that this is the Blue Star Memorial Highway, a tribute to the armed forces. So this is a state veteran cemetery, Fort Stanton, New Mexico. I learned something about coins on a grave if you're not familiar with it I'm gonna post this the story of the co coins you can pause and read it's pretty interesting leaving a penny just says that you visited a nickel indicates that you and the deceased trained at boot, t boot camp together while a dime means that you served with him in some capacity and leaving a quarter you're telling the family that you were with the soldier when he was killed. Born 1885, died 1942. So each one of these crosses has a number, like this one is 722. There's no name. But within these crosses, you'll see a tombstone, a newly placed one. So I'm assuming that they identified who 723 was. And this is Oliver, died in 1933. Number 663, Norway, died in 1929. This is Captain Scherer, Master Mariner, Oceans Unlimited, 1918 to 2000. World War II. and his wife, 2013. And this cemetery is just set in the middle of nowhere at the foothills of that, those mountains. 